Good morning. Good morning. My story today is about a little boy. And you know, this little boy went to Sabbath school and came to church all the time. Because his mom and dad came to church a lot, he always was there. But you know what? When he grew up to be a little bit bigger, he kind of thought that maybe it was his mom and dad's religion and then not his religion. And you know, there was a war going on at the time. So he said that he wanted to go join with the other boys and not stay home anymore. He wanted to go do his own thing. And so the day came, he was joining the army and mom had to say goodbye. But mom said, remember at seven o'clock every morning, I'm gonna be praying for you. Yeah, mom, I know, you always do that. And he just waved goodbye and he was on his way. And he was out doing his thing and fighting the war with all the, a lot of the other big boys. But you know what, one day he got hurt and he got hurt really, really bad. He hurt his leg and they took him to the hospital. And when he was at the hospital, every day seemed like things wasn't, weren't going any better. They were getting worse and not better. Isn't it the place to go to the hospital to get better? Well, he wasn't getting better. And one day when the doctor came by, he says, let me took a look at that bandage that's on your leg. You know, it's not looking good at all. I think we have to take the leg off. And he thought, oh no, no, you can't do that. You can't take my leg off. And the doctor said, well, you know what? If we don't, you can die. He got to thinking, he goes, not today, okay? Maybe tomorrow, but not today. And the doctor said, what? We need to do that today. And he said, no. No, I don't think so. I don't want you to take my leg off today. I want you today, maybe, maybe tomorrow. The doctor thought, this is weird. This doesn't usually happen where the patient tells the doctor what to do. But okay, I guess one more day won't make a difference because it's got to come off and you know that. Well, he wasn't too sure about that. He got to thinking, do you know when it is light on this side, do you know what it is on the other side of the world? Is it also light or does it get dark on the other side? It gets dark on the other side, that's right. And you know what, that boy was thinking of home. It was starting to get dark. And he began to pray because he knew that on the other side at the same time, who was praying for him? His mom. His mom was praying for him, that's right. And so he prayed really hard all night until morning came and when the doctor came and he said, okay, are you ready to go to surgery? What do you think he said, yes or no? No, no. No, doctor, I think you need to look at the bandage underneath my, under the bandage on my foot. And he said, what do you mean? It hasn't changed for months. It's been getting worse. And he goes, doctor, before I go to surgery, can you please unbandage my bandages to see if I still need to have it taken off? Doctor thought that was different than a patient again was telling him what he was to do, but okay, I'll show him that I have to take this leg off. And when he started taking the bandages off, he thought, this is different. This isn't what I used to see all the time. The skin underneath those bandages were looking clean and looked like they were starting to have some health. And he said, I don't understand. And the boy said, you see, my mom was praying for me last night. And I just knew that God was going to answer her prayers. 
and my prayers. Do you see? There is a God in heaven that loves us and takes care of us. Do you know him, doctor? Well, that was a hard question for a doctor. He wasn't used to that either. No, he didn't know of God and he didn't believe in God. And the boy said, will you believe now? Because there's a God in heaven who loves us very much. And you see, you won't have to take my leg off at all. And he loves you, doctor. Will you believe that there is a God in heaven who takes care of us? You know, that doctor had to think a long time before he came back with an answer. Do you know we have Christian education that has teachers who teach us from the Bible and the stories of the Bible that says God loves us very, very much. In 2 Corinthians 7.14, it says, If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and search my faith and... leave their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Thank you. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you that we have Christian educations and that we still have the opportunity of coming to church and worshiping you and honoring you. Help us always to love you and know you love us very much. And we want to thank you. Amen.